Hey guys, I'm here today with a video that was really random and weird. And as you can tell from the title, it's about drugstore items. This is a video that I've been meaning to film for a little bit. I just hadn't gotten around to it. I haven't done one of these in a while. And this is going to be just my favorite products that you can buy from the drugstore. I didn't go through and pick out something from every category. I just went through my whole collection and looked through the stuff that I love that happens to be from the drugstore. And I wanted to pick brands that you can buy at your regular drugstores. CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, or Target. Not the drugstore side of Ulta only. You know, because not everybody has an Ulta. But everybody has a Walmart, Target... Walgreens or CVS most likely. So I wanted to pick just true real drugstore items. So without further ado, let's get started. I, some of these you're probably already going to know about. Some of these are items that everybody would talk about because they're good. But I hope some of these give you at least some new ideas. One combo that you're not going to be surprised of is my favorite foundation. And it is not only my favorite foundation combo, but one of my favorite foundations. The first is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. And I wear the shade LN4. It's one of those doe foot applicators, which I don't really love that, but I've come to be okay with it. It does have a scent. It's not added fragrance. It's just the scent of the product. I think it smells kind of, kind of nutty papery. It's a weird scent, but it dissipates once it's on my face, I've noticed. But if you're somebody really sensitive to scent, I do want to mention it. So I really like it, but mixed with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I wear the shade 102. I'm wearing it today. I've had it on for a few hours, so it may not look its best, but I think it makes the best combo. This by itself I do like, but it's a little matte, and since I've gotten used to having things not so matte. I don't always love it. And then this, I do really like it on its own, but just adding a little bit of this makes it a little more coverage, a little less glowy, but it just gives you it's just like the prettiest finish on your skin. It looks healthy. It looks like skin. It's a great combo. Love it so much. I mean, it's my hands down favorite foundation to wear out of everything, high end anything. One item I'll touch on real quick and not talk about it too much because everybody knows about it. It's the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the shade Bronzer. It is a very just kind of natural bronze. I, I mean, it's just a very easy bronzer. I feel like most people could wear this that are on the lighter to light medium skin tone. Anything after that, I don't know that they have a specific shade. I do know they expanded the shade range recently, but I can't speak for sure how much they expanded it. There used to be two shades. I believe now there's four. But it's a great bronzer. It goes all nice. I like it. Okay. Now, this is... Uh, I don't want to say super new, but it's not old. It's the CoverGirl ultra fine brow pencil it's one of the micro ones it's mine's in the shade soft brown it's in my eyebrows today it's very reminiscent this is all i have left it's very reminiscent of the anastasia brow Wiz. i like it as much if not more it has a nice spoolie on the end that's pretty secure sometimes some of these are tend to break you know it's i mean it's a great pencil it's lasted probably longer than the brow whiz as far as how much is in the product. I don't know gram per gram to see who has more, but it hasn't, like the Anastasia one, I feel like you can blow through in like a month. This one's lasted me a good bit longer, so I will definitely repurchase it, but it's, I mean, no need to get the Anastasia. If you're one of those that love it, try this. I think you will be impressed. Okay, two mascaras. There's so many mascaras that I do like from the drugstore, but I didn't want to go buy them for the sake of the video. I've done drugstore videos before, so I'm sure you've seen other mascaras. I'm sure I'll do more drugstore videos in the future. You can see others, but I do have two here today to show you. They both happen to be the waterproof coat. This is the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof. I dug it out of my makeup empties for the year bag. I've only ever used the waterproof. And it's the most, 
you know, just basic wand. Nobody ever talks about this. Danny. Danny. Mm -mm. Now, I will say it is one of the harder to remove waterproof mascaras I've ever used. So that's a little, mm, but it's okay. It's worth it for me. It's so good. I mean, it is good. I think I will eventually pick it up in the regular just to see if that's as good as this. But this is a good mascara. It gives me everything I want, which is I like a long fluttery lash, but with a little bit of volume, but not so much volume that my lashes are just like short and clumpy. You know, I like the really pretty fluttery open eye look and that gives it to me with no clumps. It's good. And then the CoverGirl Lash Blast, it's a classic. I mean, I find it's always worked good for me. It's one of those rubber bristles, which I don't love, but it's okay. So those are good. And then lastly for eyes, this, it's from Ulta. Well, it's NYX. But nowadays you can find it so many other places that I figured I would throw it in. Anyways, it's the NYX Lid Lingerie Matte Eye Tint. And I got in the shade Bang Bang. I picked this up last fall, so I haven't really reached for it in a few months. But as the weather's starting to hopefully get cool soon, this is what it looks like. I will be pulling it back out again. It's kind of that warm red rusty look and I blotted I put it on my eyelids and then blend it out and it stays all day it's that matte kind of moussey texture I need to look at their other shades and see if there's any more I want to pick up I remember when the lip lingerie came out people were talking about it but you don't really see anybody talk about these but they are really good and they're worth checking out okay now I have a bunch of lip products uh, lip product junkie these are some really good ones from the drugstore. They're ones I've had for, you know, they're tried and true. First are the NYX Butter Glosses. Everybody loves these. I have, this is all I have anymore. A Claire. It's a really pretty baby cool tone pink. Fortune Cookie. It's a really good just peachy nude. And then Creme Brulee. It's a little more peachy nude where this is more nude nude. They're good. They smell like cake. They're delicious. They're a very pigmented gloss. They're not just sheer. Um, you know, I wear them by themselves. I don't feel like they're too sheer, but I'm a lip gloss person. And then the Revlon sticks, because I don't think they're all the balm stains. The Okay, this is the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Crush. If I want a darker lip in the fall, which is not all the time, but I do love this shade. I'll swatch it for you. It's a good berry without it being too... Something about berries, I don't always love on my skin tone, but I like this one. It has to have like a certain tone, and this one has it. Then the Color Burst Matte Balm in Showy. You're going to be like, what? Every once in a while, I want a bright color in the summer. Not often. And this is that true hot pink. It's not red pink. It's not lavender neon you know purple pink it is just pink 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 so it's a good one it's the only hot pink lipstick i have anymore because i don't wear hot pink lipstick that much but every once in a while i want one and this is the one i do like and then lastly the lacquer balm in demure i've talked about this so much this is one of my probably top three lip products always it's that shiny look that I like so much, but it's my baby pink and it has a little bit of sparkle. I love it so much. So I do think these are good. They had like a big moment when they first came out and they were just kind of eh, but those are really good. And then my newest one, which is really good. Everything's really good. I'm wearing it today. It's the new L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Shining Peach. It has this really pretty um, packaging, and no, it does not have the typical L'Oreal scent that so many of them have. You can tell just by looking at this, this is a good color. It's a Daylene shade. I'll do it down here. It's funny comparing it to Demure. Demure looks so much more orange. 
and I know you may think that looks really sheer, but on the lips, it's, I mean, it's pigmented, but it's one of those, it's very reminiscent of the Dior Addicts, the Dior Addict Extremes. It gives you that really pretty, glossy, comfortable lip, but, you know, it's not the most long-wearing lipstick of life. It's not a matte, but it's comfortable. It's pretty, it's just glossy, but it's not thick like a gloss can be. It's so good. I'm curious if there's any more in this shade range that I would really like. If you know, let me know. Okay, now I have three body type products that are from the drugstore that I feel are worth mentioning because they're good. This is the Soft Soap Milk and Honey Hand Soap. It's just, I've used so many of these in my life. It's like a dollar at the store. It's not open because it's my, you know, next in rotation. This Milk and Honey scent is just so comforting and sweet and I love it. They used to do a body wash back in the day and I went through so many of those. But I continue to buy this all the time because it just smells so good. If you've never tried this, pick it up for a dollar. You can't go wrong. And then this is uh, next and back up to It's the Dial Marula Oil Body Wash. I picked this up on recommendation from someone else and I since fell in love with it and I've had a few of you pick it up after hearing me talk about it and you've fallen in love with it too. So definitely try it. It's, um, the hype is real. One of my friends said it was reminiscent of the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream sent to her. And I think, I can definitely pick it up. It's like the same scent family. She didn't say it was a dupe. She just said it was a similar smell because she was loving the body wash, but she said since she got this, she didn't feel like she needed the body wash, or at least it would, you know, do until there was a sale. It's moisturizing, not to the point where I can skip lotion, but my skin doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like it's been stripped because it was a gel. It's so good, and it smells amazing. It just smells clean and fresh, not like laundry, but pick it up. Now, in my area, I cannot find it anywhere. My mom has gotten it for me at her Dollar General, and at her Walmart, they carry it. So, it's kind of hit and miss where you can find it. So, I just get her to buy it for me. Some people can find it everywhere. Some people can't find it at all. So, it's a little harder to find some places. And then lastly, this is just a tip I share in so many videos, that, and I feel like it's worth mentioning because it saved me a lot. Um, there for a while, after my first daughter was born, I was having an issue, that piece of hair is driving me crazy, with styes. I would get little styes, which, who knows where they really come from. I think mine was mostly stress. And at the doctor, they can give you a prescription, like, antibiotic ointment to rub on it. But I found this tip online, and it's to just use the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Any baby shampoo will work because you can get it in your eye without burning. Put a teeny bit on your fingers, get some water, and gently scrub your lash line on top. Kind of open your eyes a little bit and scrub in there. It may burn like the teeniest little bit because it's getting in your eye, but I mean, it's hardly noticeable at all. It's probably because you're putting anything in your eye. And when I was having a more, I would do this as like a daily extra cleanse. Now I just do it kind of weekly. It prevented me ever from getting them if I did get one because say maybe I wasn't using it or like I would slack off or whatever and you use it it would clear it up so much faster than any of the ointments that the doctors could prescribe or the over-the-counter sty ointment that you can buy it was just I mean it was a savior for me when I was having eye issues so if you have styes or you've ever had them just try to remember this trick and do it for the next time. It really, really helps. I haven't had, I'm not going to say that. I don't want to jinx myself. Let's just say I don't, this has been in, you know, under my kitchen, under my bathroom sink for a while now. So anyways, that is all of my drugstore loves. Um, if you use anything from the drugstore that is a love, regardless of the price, let me know. Oh, and then also I wanted to know, are there any drugstore makeup remover oils that you love? You know, like the cleansing oils to remove your makeup? Because I'm always kind of wanting to try something a little more budget friendly for that, you know, thing. So let me know. I would be anxious to try. So that is all for this. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if any of these are your loves, what you love, anything. Just let me know. So thanks for watching. Bye.